And now, it's time for the Nailsin Ratings. Witchy commentary by me, Mr. Nailsin, on all things concerning life, culture, entertainment, and whatever else the cat may drag in. All right, uh, I'm going to look at uh, the CW shows, the superhero shows of The Flash and uh, Supergirl. Uh, they've been on a while now. Uh, Supergirl, uh, this is actually her second season, and she's just now on the CW uh, channel, where previously she was, uh, what was it, CBS, I believe. Uh, the other two shows, uh, Legends, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a stupid show. But it has a charm to it that I like. But, uh, yeah, it's really stupid. And I, I, maybe I'll do one on that one later. Uh, but uh, these two shows uh, I'll talk about here. Arrow I gave up on a long time ago. Uh, I just I don't have an opinion on it anymore because I haven't been watching it. So it wouldn't be fair to talk about it. Uh, okay, The Flash. Uh, the Flash, right off the bat, I'm gonna it, it, of these superhero shows that CW does, The Flash is... Easily the best one of the bunch. Uh, the cast works; uh, it's enjoyable, uh, and e even when the shows are weak, uh, they, they're able to carry it through. They do well, and they they hold up each other, and it just it, it all clicks. Now, when I look at the other shows, they copy that template, and uh, so I guess they're all copying the Arrow template since Arrow was first. Uh, but the Flash, I think, uh, pulls it off. Uh, to a T, uh, perfectly, you know, and uh, so it works well for them, and uh, that's its strength. And they need it because this past season was terrible, <laughs> and so uh, so I enjoy these characters, and I enjoy the performances, and the actors pull it off; they do well. Uh, but the storylines was really bad. I, I mean, it started off interesting enough where the Flash is trying to avoid this future that he knows is coming, and all that. But you know, it, it it's hampered. By every goddamn season, the main supervillain is another speedster. I mean, <laughs> it's just always some guy who has the same powers as the Flash. And he's always the main guy. And of course, well, yeah, uh, you would need somebody with those powers to take on the Flash. But no, you don't. Uh, there's plenty of other characters that they use that have their own unique type of powers that could uh, produce challenges for the Flash. But they're only there for, like, guest stars. They come and go. There's no ongoing major plot. They're not that big of a threat. Uh, they get beaten within the end of the episode. Uh, I guess the only exception would have been the uh, 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 Grodd, the gorilla, who uh, that was a two-parter. And uh, they took a while to beat him. But uh, but still, uh, constantly... So hopefully uh, next season... <laughs> There won't be a, another bad uh, super speedster, at least not being the main villain uh, that's orchestrating that whole season. Because it always seems there's you know one of them. It's always a super speedster uh, villain that's uh, manipulating the entire season, and that was the case in this one with the uh, the Savitar character, who spoiler turns out was actually Barry uh, Allen, the Flash himself. It was uh, uh, a uh, an alternate version of himself. These remnants they call them. Uh, which was pretty far fetched and didn't quite work, uh, and they uh, and it, towards the end there, I, well, never mind. It, it's too complicated, but it was pretty sorry. But still, the show survives on its cast, uh, their strong performances, and the uh, relationships they have. It, it, it all clicks, and it's enjoyable to watch. But if they can't continue the, with this kind of bad plots and uh, r uh, repetitive ideas like that. It's not going to hold together. It's like similar things I've said about The Walking Dead. I mean, you know, I love the characters, love the relationships with them and the performances and what have you. But boy, uh, if the writing keeps going down the crapper, that's not going to save the show. So uh, Fla The Flash can't afford to have another season like this. So, so hopefully uh, they'll figure that out. Meanwhile, Supergirl. Now, the uh, first uh, season of Supergirl I did like. Uh, I thought it, uh, I carried it up and I was very impressed with uh, uh, Melissa Benoist, I believe is how they pronounce the name. Uh, uh, she basically carries the show. She's the best actress on it. Her performance is top notch and she's, uh, she's really good. And uh, I don't know where she's going after this show when it ends, but uh, hopefully it doesn't damage her name and uh, uh, she can go elsewhere because I think there's some real potential here for this, uh, this young lady. Uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, season two has been pure crap. These shows were 
awful. They're terrible. And uh, and, and, and I'll, I'll zero in on the last two to make this point. Uh, the final two episodes of the big battle with the, the, the Daxamites, which is this race that's similar to the Kryptonians, but a little different. And, of course, her boyfriend, mon comes from them. But turns out mon mother is evil, who's played by the former... Lois Lane from Lois and Clark, uh, Terry Hatcher, of course. And uh, she was the big bad in this one. And uh, But there was a scene, <laughs> it's one of these dumb things that he shows to do. So, uh, first of all, they've got Linda Carter guest starring as the president. Because, of course, we knew we were going to have a female president, but, well, that didn't work out. But, so there she is, and the invasion force of these aliens, or the Daxamites, are, are coming in. And they were taking over Supergirl City and the whole world when we're done with that. And so uh, the president decides to fly Air Force One right into the ships, <laughs> I guess. I don't know what she was going to do with two uh, Air Force uh, jets escorting her there. And, you know, you don't mess with me, girlfriend. I'll kick your butt and all this stuff. And then, uh, and oh, yeah, Cat Grant walks in, who I, at first I thought, oh, that's where she's been. She's become like the like the spokesman or uh, uh, media handler for the president or whatever. Which would make sense. No, she's just there. Just happened to be there. <laughs> so, so she comes up to, and uh, 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 Callista Falk Flockhart is just awful in this series. I mean, I can't help but think that she's bored to tears and doesn't want to be there because that's what it, that's how it comes across. And uh, I wasn't a big Ally McBeal fan. I saw a few shows. I thought she did oh, pretty good in that show. She became a star because of it, you know. But I don't know what happened since then. Uh, she can't act because uh, she's just. I don't know, bored, or or maybe she's sick or something. I don't know, but uh, just terrible. And if she had been away, the character was written out, but then she surprise she comes back for this little tail end deal with this season, and uh, it was pretty terrible. And so uh, the aliens say, "Well, we're not putting up with this." So they they start firing on the Air Force One. They blow up the two es- escort jets, and then they pretty much destroy Air Force One. And Cat uh, Grant uh, gets sucked out the uh, the door, or he blows open, whatever. And Supergirl rushes out there to save Cat Grant. Meanwhile, Air Force One just crashes to the ground. <laughs> Everybody on board dies. Supergirl didn't bother with any of that, and uh, but she saves Cat Grant. And oh, surprise! The president survived because it turns out, well, she's an alien too. And I guess that'll be a plot for the next season. But uh, <laughs> boy. Pretty awful, but of course, in the in all of this, they had to interrupt the show to give you a political ad, which of course give lines like, "Oh, we can't let these aliens come in just because they're saying they're going to make the world great again." Yeah, yeah, and of course, the titles were "Resist" for this episode, and the next one, "Nevertheless, She Persists." I mean, oh, God, that is just awful. And one of the big rules about uh, TV and film and stuff. You don't ever want to take your audience out of your story. Well, when you do a political ad, (laughs) which is several months after the election, uh, you take your audience out of the story, and you're letting Donald Trump ruin your show. (laughs) Because, look, uh, I'm sure you have a lot in your audience who can't stand the man. Uh, They can't stand the man whether you do that or not. And the people who like him still like him. So you didn't do anything. All you did was bring down your show and ruin it. But it was pretty bad to begin with because, like I said, uh, a bunch of people just died in an airplane crash and Supergirl's too busy sa- saving her old boss. You know, I... Well, okay. Eh, so then in the next thing, uh, well, that's... Uh, we got to have more uh, girl power uh, sentiments, which that's constantly through the whole season had to do that because Supergirl's so powerful, you're so powerful, but she constantly needs you to say that. Because, because I guess she isn't. Because, I mean, you're that insecure. But that's the deal. So she ends up in a fight with Superman. And, of course, she wins. You know, you know she had to. And uh, so Superman, you're stronger than me, Supergirl. And you need that to, you know, it's because that's, that's, that's what the point is. Girl power. And then, but then immediately, there's a scene where she's like, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know. And Superman has to kind of, oh, you're a great Supergirl. And you're like, oh, boy. It, I mean, one minute, she's supposed to be the big hero. The next minute, she's, you know, an eight-year-old girl. (sighs) And, and, I mean, that's constant through the series. When does she grow up? I mean, this is the second season. She's been at this for a while now. Uh, Come on. (laughs) 
just let her be super. <laughs> so it's 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 got things like that that just you just can't even get into whatever the plot is. So I mean, at the end, the uh, the Luthers, uh, not Lex, he's nowhere around, but his sister and his mother. Uh, they come up with a device that releases, like, lead particles into the atmosphere, which is deadly to the Daxamites. So they have to leave, but unfortunately, so does uh, Supergirl's boyfriend, mon and he leaves, and it's all very sad. And in that, you know, uh, like I said, she, Melissa Vanessa is a, uh, a very good actress, and she does that very well. You, It's really believable. She's really upset, you know, she loved the man, and he's she can't have him. He's got to leave or he'll die. So and so she's able to do that, and it's sad that she's wasted on this piece of crap because uh, she could really pull off some killer stories if they gave it to her, but they can't. Uh, they need to fire that, fire a good part of the cast, <laughs> and um, get some good writers in there who can give her a story worthy of her talents. Uh, so uh, Monel leaves, but he goes into a mysterious wormhole. Maybe he's gonna go. To the future, to the Legion of Superheroes. If you know the comic books, that's where Monel goes into the future to work with them, uh, because they have a cure for his ailment. Uh, or perhaps he's going to the other universe uh, where the Flash is and all that, and will be on the Legends show. Maybe that's what's going to happen. I don't know, but that's how they rounded that out. So, uh, so like I said, a pretty bad season. I don't know if I can bring myself to check out season three. Uh, Man, I suppose I should, because I really do like the actress. Like I said, she's top-notch in her skills, and I, I hate to see talent like that wasted on crap. But uh, that's probably what I'm going to see. Maybe they'll prove me wrong, but we'll see. But so far for season two, <sighs> uh, Supergirl gets one and a half stars, and that's only on the strength of the lead actress's abilities. Uh, she carries the show. Uh, otherwise, it's nothing. So, one and a half stars for that. And uh, three stars for The Flash. Uh, once again, uh, the because uh, I look, like, it's the best of the bunch of these superhero shows. Uh, but there again, uh, this season's plot was uh, pretty bad. Pretty bad. Kind of have to up the game there, Flash. Or you can be dropped too. All right, there you go. Flash and Supergirl. And that was the Nelson Ratings. Commentary from me, Mr. Nelson. The views and opinions expressed in the Nelson Ratings do not necessarily reflect those held by Radio Misfits or any other entity that Mr. Nelson may or may not be involved with. So any complaints or comments should be sent to at Mr. Nelson on Twitter, where they'll be promptly ignored and or blocked. <laughs>